Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited to show you what I have and what we're gonna take a look at. I have the entire collection of Melt Cream blush lights. I got them for Christmas. I did not get them in PR. And so if you're interested in seeing what they all look like and what they all swatch out to look like on the skin, then just keep watching. <music> I'm so glad you guys decided to stay. Yes. What ended up happening is I got one of these. I fell in love. And I was like, oh no, I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna have to, I love these so much and they look so beautiful on the skin that I'm gonna eventually collect all of them. I was just forewarning my husband, letting him know that I'm gonna pick up one or two whenever they go on sale or whatever else, you know, until I collect them, you know? Because when I love something, I want every color and I collect it, you know? Little did I know that he picked up every single one of them for Christmas. He got them on sale. They are $24 a piece. So thank goodness he got them on sale. But these are gorgeous on the skin and it does not matter what color it is. I have it on my skin right now. I don't have very much on my skin because I did a wear test on foundation all day long. It was seven and a half hours and I even took a nap. <laughs> so that also should be up on my channel. I'll link it down below if you want to see the foundation that I'm wearing. It is the Be Perfect Luminous Foundation and I'm liking it. Um, no touch up, no nothing. And this is after seven and a half hours and I'm filming with it. So I wanted to show these because this is going to be one of my favorite products of the year. I just know it because I can't get enough of this blush. Absolutely worth it. It is the cream blush lights because they have blush lights that are powder, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the cream blush lights and I'm typically not a cream or liquid blush girl, but these are beautiful. They just melt into the skin. They match up really well and I love it. Okay, I think you guys got the clue that I love it at this point. All right, so I have all the shades, and so we're there's 10 different ones, and so we're gonna go one by one. I'm gonna show you the name. I'm going to swatch it for you, which swatching, you know, I'm gonna kind of like rub it in so you can kind of see what it looks like what it would look like on your cheeks. Let's start off with the first one, which is polished. And some of these look bright, but they are not that way on your cheeks. You can get it on your cheeks and be like, oh, that's a little bright, but it blends right into your cheek. And that's what this one looks like. Such a coral, peachy look to it. These are just, just stunning. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do it like a regular swatch. I'm gonna kind of rub it into my skin so you can see the color of what the blush would look like. It is just so, so pretty. And I'm not a coral kind of girl either, but it just, it doesn't matter what color it is. It just looks good on my skin. They're just, I, I can't say enough good things about these. I'm telling you, these are underrated. I don't hear much about them. And so I'm so glad that I got one and so that I can try it out. And the first one I got was a Christmas gift as well from somebody else. And so I got to try it and I was like, this is a hidden gem. <laughs> I was super excited. Okay, this one is Cali Dream. And it looks like this here. Like that on the finger. So that gives it more of an orange blush look to it. Very, very pretty. See the difference between the two. But it just melts into the skin and it's just stunning. Okay. Lynx, looks like this here. Some people would probably use this as even a, like a bronzer, and but I, I don't use bronzer, but somebody could use this as a bronzer. Kind of like a toasty orange. It's more warmer. And that looks really beautiful if you're just got a real neutral look on and you just want some color to your cheeks. It's very, very pretty. And Sundown. And so this one has a, a real pretty sheen. And I use this a lot, <laughs> like there's already a lot around there and I've obviously accidentally gouged it there. But uh, you can see I have used this one quite a bit. It is beautiful, sundown. Now this one's gonna go over my little my little mole on my hand. <laughs> That's sundown. See the difference? I mean, this one is probably a little bit more sheared out, but you, I'm, I'm wanting you just to see the color tone. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe this hand off and we're gonna start over. Daydreamer, which looks like this here. 
is a little bit darker. So when you get it on your face, it could look like that there, okay? But watch how it buffs into the skin. See that? Really pretty. So pretty. So that's what it looks like on the finger. Then it buffs out today. So, so pretty. And then okay. Kench looks like that there. This one's so pretty as well. I love this one. I've used, I've used these a lot. Here's Pinched. Okay. With more of a pink to it. Okay. And then Sandy Cheeks. Looks like that there. Would be that one right there. Okay. Blend it out. Golden Hour. Looks like that. Golden Hour. Okay, and then we have Pink Sand, and it looks like that there. Let me put this out on my, almost onto my thumb here, but that's okay, because I only have one more left, so we're going to find a way to get these all in. Pink Sand. Okay. All right. And then the last one is Honey Thief. We're going to put that on the inside of the palm, and it looks like this here, and Honey Thief. Looks like that. Very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take this completely off and then I'm gonna swatch them on my arm like you would a eyeshadow swatch so that you can see them next to each other, not buffed out. So you can see the color difference and compare between the two. You're not gonna get the sheer look to it, but you're gonna get to see the colors. Okay, we'll do, we'll go backwards now. So we'll start with Honey Thief. Pink Sand, Golden Hour, Pinched, definitely aren't, I'm putting it on thick, so they're not really that bright. You can see whenever I buffed them out. Sandy Cheeks, I just want you to be able to see the difference in the tone, so I am putting quite a bit on. Okay. Sun down. Daydreamer. Lynx. Cali Dream. And the last one, Polished. Okay, so there is all the shades. Side by side and pretty thick, <laughs> which your cheeks aren't gonna look like this, just the swatches. And since they are cream, you can layer it on a little bit thicker, but absolutely 100% my favorite blush. I'm just gonna come out and say it. It is my favorite. So tell me down below, have you tried Melt Cream Blush Lights? What was your thoughts on it? Let me know down in the comment section. I would love to know. And tell me what your favorite form of blush is. Is it liquid? Is it powder? Is it cream? Up until I found these, it was always powder. It was always powder. I can wear some of the liquid blushes, but not a whole lot. I found some that I really like and some that are just okay. But powder blushes just were where it was at for me. I always loved my powder blushes. So finding these cream blushes that I thoroughly enjoy was such a surprise for me. And they're just absolutely gorgeous and they're what I wanna reach for just about every single time. So I had to show you this since I have the whole collection. You can only get the full collection on the Melt Cosmetics website. Uh, I think that Sephora only carries like a handful of them, maybe five or six different shades. So if you want the whole collection, you have to go to Melt Cosmetics to get it. And I do know that they do run sales from time to time. So keep an eye out for that because they do run $24 a piece uh, when they're not on sale, when they're their full retail. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video, giving you an idea of what, what all of these look like side by side. If you're new here and you're just coming across this video, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love to have you here and introduce yourself down in the comment section. I swear I don't bite, okay? And I usually almost always answer back every comment. Love to get to know you and so make sure to say hello.
until I see you guys again, make glitter catch your eye, but never go in it. Take care. Bye-bye.